Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching CICS Part 3. So today, uh, in this video, I would like to share you about the important thing or what need to be considered while working with the CICS screen. So what exactly the screen CSR uh, uh, will have and what is its size and uh, what are the various key that uses. So, okay, let's go ahead and start uh, with this. So basically the CSR screen is divided as uh, 24 rows, 24 rows and uh, 8 80 columns. Consider this is part of a screen. So this is this screen is divided as uh, 24 rows and 80 columns. So that is the maximum uh, number of rows or 80 columns that you can code on the screen or if you want to display anything onto the screen so that's it, that is the maximum size you can use it and it has the capable of displaying 1920 characters at max so it means that what are the characters you are seeing now here the same way on the CIC screen the maximum characters you can display on the screen is like uh, it, I mean it has the capability of displaying 1920 characters it uh, it depends on the way uh, you wanted to display the characters onto the screen so the first important point is so your screen is divided as 24 rows and 80 columns and it is capable of displaying 1920 characters now let's see now let's talk about the what are the different keys uh, that can be used uh, in CICS so as you know that keyboard keyboard consists of multiple keys like numeric keys alphabet keys function keys and uh, various other green enter button insert and there are various keys uh, on the keyboard so now now uh, let's see how these are divided when working with the CIC screen and how do we use those things so I hope you got this point right so CIC screen is divided as 24 rows and 80 columns it is capable of displaying 192 character 1920 characters okay now see so the keys are divided as AID keys and non AID, non AID keys okay what is AID key and what is non AID key let's see so uh, AID stands for the action identifier and uh, the examples are enter, enter button, uh, PF1, PF2, these are called as the program function keys and PA1, uh, so on and the program access and the clear. So the clear button. So these all are called as a, the action identifier keys. Uh, action identifier keys that can be used okay, when you are working with the CICS uh, programming or when you wanted to display on the thing so generally on the CIS screen so you will be uh, you will be provided with the given information on the CIS screens you will get a so let us take some example of the employee so the header will be like employee employee name employee salary employee age something so you are trying to display those fields and in that the bottom you can see F1 uh, F3 for go back or F2 for save and F3 for delete I mean so, so on so those function keys you can be used and the enter button is for action so once you press an enter button, so the data will be accepted from the screen and it is sent back to the map and uh, there will be set off a variables declared for news and it will store and it will process it, right? So that is a, a important the thing of, uh, we need to understand here. AID stands for an action identifier. These are the examples. Uh, so where, what AID stands for, okay. So again, we have non-AID keys. Apart from this function keys and enter and the program access and clear. So the other, all the things comes under this non-AID keys, okay. So these are called as non-action identifiers. So for this, uh, see the name itself indicates that it needs to take some actions. When you press and enter, it has to take, in the background, it has to take some action, right? When you press on F1, it has to take some action. F2, F3, so on. So there is a particular action is there, whereas for non id keys, you will be trying to enter the data. So for example, you have a variable declared called employee number. So beside the employee number, you will be trying to enter the employee number itself, right? So there is no action is needed there. And the same way, if there is an uh, employee name, so you uh, you enter the alphabet keys and you uh, if it is a numeric field, you will be entered in numeric keys and if there are any punctuation needed, so you will give punctuations, right? So that's how uh, that's how we use uh, a keys and its advantage and uh, while working with the CICS. So just to recap, so CICS screen is divided as 24 rows and 80 columns. It is capable of 192 displaying 1920 characters. And the keys are divided as action identifier keys and non-action identifier keys. The examples of no action identifier keys are PF1, PF2, enter, and so on. And for non-action identifier keys, alphabet keys, enumerated keys, and punctuations. Right. 
okay so thank you so much for watching this video or becoming up with more and more videos so stay tuned to youtube channel you're watching kumar youtube channel so if you like this video kindly please subscribe share or com comment on my channel thank you so much have a great and pleasureful day